Hey guys, um, today I want to do like just a little video for the weekend. Uh, I've been very inspired lately by a lot, a lot of people, especially on my art journal, doing mixed media art and things like that. And I just want to talk about it a little bit uh, because I have sh I have shown you some of the things I do, but there's also some other things you haven't seen, which I didn't do a video about. And the reason why is because, or either I was I was just inspired. You know, art journals are just for the moment. You know, like whatever you have in your head, in your mind, you know, you just go for it and you do it. And sometimes, you know, I don't feel like, you know, doing the whole setup and the whole video production for only that specific moment because then my muse will just go. So I, I you know, I've done little things here and there that I want to show you because I want to, I want to show you and I want to keep them on record too. Um, most of the times... Uh, I don't know if you have in mind thinking uh, how do you come up with the ideas because a lot of people say I'm very creative I'm very you know doing a lot of things at the same time and how do you do it well you know my inspiration comes from my own inner uh, love for art as well as a lot of people that I'm inspired with and I really want to thank, really want to thank YouTube because without YouTube you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't have the chance to see what I do. And then I want to thank all my viewers, all my subscribers for taking the time and watch my videos. And I'm very, very, very thankful because the the people that do videos the way I do them sometimes not like this little quick video but the ones that have more uh, visual and technical aspect in it they take a lot of time and people that do that type of video they know that they know that for a fact and I just wanna to thank you for taking the time and watching my videos and my art and and I'm very very thankful um, the second thank you I want to do, I sound like I'm the Oscars, you know. <laughs> I want to thank all the people at the blogger community, especially the art media people and the crafters, uh, because they have let me, you know, join a lot of their challenges and they have me open my mind to different aspects on doing different things. And ever since I started my new blog, because I have other other blogs, but this one and specifically, which is the art blog, I feel like I really, 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 I'm part of something, and I'm very, very thankful for all those viewers that are watching my blog, all the subscribers for my blog, and if you're in YouTube and you haven't checked my blog yet, please, I want you to go there and have fun and watch some of the stuff I do. Also, and maybe uh, if you haven't watched any other videos, you know, I, I kind of give more in detail on the projects I do and I got pictures and things like that. So if you want to go there and check it out, you're more than welcome. And uh, thank you. Thank you guys, really. Okay, let's go with the journal. Um, I want to show you some of the things I was working out of camera because you haven't seen it. And uh, I hope you like it. I really hope you like them. And we'll see. Some of the ideas, like I said, they come out of my head. Others have been inspired by other artists and as well other people that have done different things. Like, well, you already seen this. I have a video about this. Now, the reason why also I did other pages out of camera was because I was working only on this on the top page and not on the on the back page so I was like oh well you know what I need to do that because then it's not really an art journal because the reason why I was doing just the top
page was because if I feel like taking this out and I don't know do a frame with it that would be cool but then I said you know what no I'm gonna keep it in the book and just do go with the flow well you really see this um, the ones that you haven't seen is the ones that are in the side so this one it's I like this one very much I took the idea of the figure because I saw there's a stamp and I really want to buy it it looked like that and I really want to buy it but I, I was like uh, I didn't want to wait and I wanted to do something about it and I just went ahead and draw you know draw what I saw it's similar it's not the same it has a tweak on it it's a little bit different but you know I went ahead and draw it you know free-handed and as you can see it's very you know mixed media stuff a little bit of doodling a little bit of mixed media collage you know stickles everything you know to blend in those beautiful colors um, that are pink and blue and greens very pastel colors you know even lavender colors I have in there I've been using a lot of different techniques you know I've been learning a lot of different techniques that I probably have forgotten throughout the years but they're coming back so fast and it's like I say it's like a an explosion of, of, of art like I, I, I sometimes I'm in the rush I just want to do it and I just don't want to put the camera I just want to do it um, you well you you have seen the moon man and for those who haven't seen the moon man this is the moon man in his little boat canoe <laughs> I don't know, I felt that was cute. It glows in the dark, by the way. It's really cool. Um, of course, this is a Tim Holtz inspiration. And as you can see, I, I use Tim Holtz stamps with his inks. And really, I I added a lot of the techniques on, on how I'm using the inks in my tags. <clears throat> so I want to transfer that to my art journal, and this is what I came up with. I also in this time use uh, crackle paint here and in the border of the whole thing. Just kind of cute. I like it. I like it very much. I love this umbrella man. I'm not going to stop saying it. And here it says, and people that like Tim's Holtz know about this sentiment. It says, leave the life you imagine. And I have used it before in one of my tags. It's beautiful. Of course, the queen. Uh, this I, I I I think so far between this one and this one, those are my favorite really, so far. But I like them all. I mean, I really like them all. The Queen. For those that have seen the video, there's a video about this one. You can go check it out. It's really cool. I like this one very much. Um, this one uh, was I was just want to try like more pastel-y colors, so I have pastel colors and. I just went ahead and do my thing and then I kind of find this on mag in the magazine and just put them in. I didn't doodle that. It's just a magazine cut that I cut out. Uh, it says make it yourself, play it yourself, and do it yourself. So, you know, <clears throat> and the eyes are watching, which is really cool. Team Hall snaps, by the way. Really, really cool stuff. Um, very disorganized, you know, very, very mixed media art. Uh, this is a calendar um, inspired by uh, the Catherine Wheel, and I just made the May calendar. I'm still, as you can see, I'm filling it out. Um, this one, I love this one. Uh, I doodled, I did some, a little bit of different techniques, and I, and I wrote on it, which is very, very cool. I love, I love the fact that, you know, I love this type of combination. Not only just drawing and putting a bunch of paint now. Writing too, you know, in your art journal you can write. So, and doodle it. And look, look at the results. See? These are fabulous. Fabulous stuff. I love that one too very much. This is the Left Alone. There's a video about the Left Alone. And the Left Alone is, uh... I think it's a very personal uh, thinking at the moment when I did this. Uh, very cute, I guess. Uh, this, as you can see, I, I've started working on this pitch, but I haven't done anything yet. 
I'm trying to think what am I going to do with this colors. I wanted to do something different in color wise, you know. As much colors I can use, as much as I can do. And then, uh, this, this was my last video on my art journal. It was really fun because I actually, uh, you know, used a stamp that was cut out and I just draw it with the distress inks and some watercolor pencils and then I doodle and, and do things like that and the results were really really cool so as you can see I, I uh, not only the ones that you've seen on video I've been working up camera and doing you know my other things which I I really think they came out really really nice this one I love I love all of them I mean everything I do I really I really want to some of them really every time I do one I just want to tear the page out and do a canvas or or frame them which probably in the future I will I don't know we'll see depends but so far my art journal is coming out really 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 nice and I love it I want to show you something really quick uh, I got I got this um, this paints uh, these are are from the brand that Michael sells these are the uh, watch paints and these have more pigmentation on regular acrylics which is what I've been using this type of acrylics these are the the ones that are not that expensive at Michaels or Joann's or whatever and then I thought you know to take better better stuff to to give more pigmentation to my colors I'm gonna try them out probably give you a review about it I don't know we'll see and and you know we I I am I'm very very looking forward to use this and see what's the outcome I used to have a lot of um, Liquitex acrylics like you know watch acrylics or paints that were fantastic and I think those are the best but that was the past probably in the future I will get those back again but for now this is what I'm going to use and this is what I'm going to start using on my visual. Well, I, I will use a lot of different materials, but I want to see how... I, this have more variety of colors and this one's I, I have a few colors, but I don't have all the colors. I just have a few colors and that's what I've been... But I, we, what I've been using as well as the little ones that you've seen in my other videos that they're always in the back over there, like over there. And these are metallics. I got the primary colors too, but these are so small, really, they're just for detailing and stuff like that, and the reason I got this was for my uh, clay work, and, but sometimes I use them, you know, they're very useful, they're very, the colors are very, very nice. So, with that said, guys, um, this was my video for today, um, as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.